Hello, good morning. My name is Nathan Clark. I'm coming to you from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. Today I'm going to talk about the 2023 Winnebago Era 70X. This is the rear-wheel drive model. I'd like to start from the outside. Notice we've got the carefree awning up above. It's got the light on the outside. Benefit of a carefree awning is if you go out on, like say you pulled over the side of the road and you want to go hiking, lift the awning out, a gust of wind comes up, it'll automatically sense the wind and pull it back in for you. Nice, big, spacious amount of room underneath here. Looking at the outside of the coach, you have a few different uh, plugs. You have an auxiliary plug. You also have a cable plug. You have power plugs. You don't look under that. You also have an additional solar panel. There's two solar panels on the roof already. Uh, so what this extra solar panel is going to provide you is for additional accessories. These are the stylized Alcoa chrome rims. You got the running boards. Come around the back, you'll have exterior speakers. So when you turn on the radios, you have the inside radio and the outside radio if you wish. Coming around to the back, these doors open all the way up. This is where you store the table that is inside the coach right now. I've got it inside. There's a little bit of access to the back of the seat here because there's three seat belts on this bench and you need to get through to the middle seat belt. You can feed it through the seat that way. There's a spray port and also the spray nozzle. Spray down the kids, spray down the dogs, spray down whatever you want. You've got an external propane so you can run an outside grill if you want. The tow hitch is rated at 5,000 pounds, 500 pounds on the tongue weight. Nice thing about this is you can have the screen or you can have the privacy. There is a handle to get out to unlock the door if you need to. This bed slides down, so you have access to get out through the back door if you need to. You have an external ladder. If you need to climb up on the roof, this little locking mechanism, it has a lock on it. So when you lock it up, it free spools so it doesn't it doesn't run on the threads, so nobody can steal your ladder. Bring this around. This is designed to be on the side here. You've got your hot water shower, hot cold water shower. So you've got your spigot right here. I showed you back in the back there, the blue hose and the spigot, that's where you connect it. And it's simple connection. This is where you connect a 30 amp power supply. If you're, if you're at a campsite, you plug that into a 30 amp power supply, you can run your air conditioner, you can run all your electronics, everything that you want. I'm gonna climb up on the top here just to show. This support is for 250 pounds. But what you have up here is you have an air conditioning unit, you have a TV antenna, you have two solar panels, and you also have an air, air vent. You have some additional racks up in the front. And if you can maximize the space, that's what this letter's for. Come along to the side here. Down in these little compartments here, this is where your pump station is. You've got a macerator. You've also got your water pump, your drain pump. You've also got your water valves. You've got your city water connection. So if you've got water pressure in a hose, you want to connect it to there. 
You also have a black water tank flush here. Nice thing about the black water tank flush is you don't have to get into the toilet and wash it down. It's right here. It washes down the sensors, so you don't have to uh, get inside with the, with the hose. Um, your fresh water is 25 gallons. Your gray water is 19 gallons and your black water is nine. So a total of 25. Coming up to the front here. This is where your propane is. Propane is all set up. You usually pull into like a lawn and garden place or Ace Hardware or anywhere that sells propane, you can pump it up from here. Right behind this area here is your generator. It's a 2,500 watt liquid propane. It's, there's your exhaust system for your generator. I think you can probably have the best view from underneath here, Jody. You can see it right underneath, it's between the axle. 2,500 watt liquid propane. It's gonna run off the same tank as your uh, gas stove and your propane line here. That generator will uh, generate enough power to run your air conditioning if you don't have the capabilities of pulling into a campsite. Inside the Mercedes chassis, this is where your diesel is filled up. It's a 24 gallon tank. If you notice the seat com configurations here, you've got all your gadgets on the steering wheel. You've got lumbar support. You also have power seats. Now keep in mind, all, these seats do swivel around as well as the, mi the middle row and I'll show you that when we go inside. These do have heated seats and also power mirrors. Now this is stock number 5N221632. If you'd like to look up and get a little bit more information on this. Under the engine compartment here, this is the 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel, 188 horses with 325 foot-pounds of torque. Very simple to maintain this motor. You've got your DEF fluid. At most truck stops you have it, you can fill it up from the uh, gas, like a gas pump as well. Coolant reservoir, your oil fill. You also have, I believe, a dipstick on the oil fill your air filter, your brake fluid, your washer fluid. If you ever need to jump this vehicle, push this in and you've got your positive, and you've also got your negative right over here. Coming around the front, let's go inside got a power sliding door. And like I was talking about in the front, you have the ability to move these seats around. Very simple. So you can share a table here. You can also share a table in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and hop inside. It is kind of snug in here, but believe it or not, you can see seven people in here. If you're traveling down the highway, this probably makes the best sense if you've got a big family and you wanna drive from say two or 300 miles and you need to have a bathroom facility for the kids. This is very nice because you have three seat belts here, two seat belts in the middle, two seat belts in the front. So everybody's legal to be sitting in there. Uh, back here you have your table. Now the way the table's set up is you can have it on a pedestal, like on the, on the, on the the leg for the table, you can have it in the front or the back. This table also works as a support for the sofa bed. Now, the sofa bed, press this little button right here. And it's a queen size bed in the back. 
I'm going to put these little cushions in here and I'm going to show you how big this thing is. Now, I'm six feet tall and I'm comfortable. This is nice. If you want to read at night, you got blue lights. Oh, that would be a little bit snug, but the fact of the matter is you've got lots of room to move around. These are cup holders. So when it's in the couch position, you have a place to put drinks while you're driving down the highway. I'm gonna hop back here. If you take a look inside here, you've got storage and some goodies that go in your microwave and some water filters that come from Winnebago. Pop this little guy up here. I'm gonna put the table right back here because that's it stores in the back on the outside. You've got a power cord, a power plug in here. You also have USB plugs so kids can plug in games and stuff, keep their phones charged. You do have a TV. It is fixed there, so you can't move it around. With these little levers for opening the windows, there are little handles on them that are designed to open up and you can throw, you can adjust these little triggers here to work for extra strength and flexing to go out. So you've got them on all the windows all the way around. So you have additional abilities to let air move through the camper without running your air conditioner. If you want to run your air conditioner, you can throw that generator on in motion and run the air conditioner and keep everybody cool. These also do have light out curtains for privacy. If you take a look at all the storage compartments, this is where your inside outside radio is. It's Jensen sound system. It's got speakers throughout the coach and it's also got speakers on the outside. It's be the ultimate party mobile. Got a power plug up in here. You also have a cable plug and also a USB. There is a rug for the center line here. There's also uh, block out window curtains for the front of the, of the cabin there for the driver area. So if you wanted to put say a bed cab kit up in the front, you could sleep up in the front, have another bed. Lots of storage. I love the glossy cabinets. It's very pretty. Now I'm going to open up the bathroom. Cool thing about the bathroom is you got folding doors. So you can have access to them. You also can have additional room so you can block off one section of the of the uh, the bathroom, you use the toilet, you got your sink, your toilet paper roll, you got a sprayer to wash down the toilet. You also have a shower, so it's a wet shower or wet bath, so you can shower over the toilet and everything. And what that sensor is telling us is that all the lights are on, but the engine and the power source is not. So it's reminding us, hey, don't leave it on. <laughs> All right, so let's go around to here. You got three burner gas stove. I like how much space is there. Lots of countertop. And then this little guy right here is a cutting board. Nice spacious sink. You have your microwave. Now in this box back here, I showed you some microwave components like the, the tray and the, and the uh, this is a convection microwave so you can cook and bake in it. There's your refrigerator. 
It does have a freezer. Power plug. More storage. This is where your owner's manuals are for Winnebago. Every unit has appliances in them. This has all the owner's manuals for the appliances. Nice corner drawers. Good use of space. This little guy back here shows you what's going on with your controls. You've got your light controls. You've got you find out what's going on with your battery, your heating so system, all your gauges, your your sofa, your temperature, lock and unlock, and also your uh, awning controls. When your generator is on, you want to turn your inverter on to invert the power throughout. This does have the solar panels on top. This is a Truma hot water heater. Nice thing about Truma is it's going to give you a tankless hot water heater. It'll run as long as you're plugged into water. You can have some endless, endless hot water showers. Back here is storage for your table, for your the leg for the table. And you can put that up in the front here. And it's really simple. This, like I was, I was showing you up on the front there, all four of these chairs move around. So you can share a table here. You can share a table in the back. You've got lots of room to, to play cards, hang out, have cocktails. Cup holders. When you get up into the front cockpit here, it's got all the Mercedes features, your power seats, your power mirrors, You've got all your different gauge, different buttons here. Jody, if you will, can you please press that little red and black button on the door? That's gonna be your power, power door. That'll close that thing right up. I noticed that the awning came in automatically when I turned on the ignition. That's pretty cool, huh? So that's one of the features that, that is with the carefree awning. If you happen to put it in, in your ignition on, it automatically comes in. Also, if you're in drive in your, with your transmission on the Mercedes, you open your door, it's gonna automatically put it in park. This is also gonna give you the ability to go through the different gauges on the dash. You can go up, you can go scroll down, you can scroll through. Now the, the service will give you opportunity to um, keep a record of when you get your servicing done and also be reminders. This is gonna be your distance to um, you're traveling behind in front of somebody if you want to have a vehicle in front of you for cruise control this can measure the distance that you want to travel behind somebody else you also have other options as well you have cruise control this is your lane guided cruise control when you're you can determine how many vehicles in front of you that will measure if to slow down the vehicle and then once they get out of the way, you can speed up to regular speed. This guy right here is gonna go through your main info, infotainment center here. It's gonna show you everything that you need. You do have a touch screen. You also have the ability to control the screen with this little guy right here. And you go back to home. You can go to the apps, the settings, information. You've got your cameras. You've got a few different views. You've got, you can adjust how the restricted the viewer is, how broad the view is. Air conditioning, set it up on auto. It automatically turns it on and adjusts it to the temperature that you want it to be at. Now remember I was asking you to open that and close that door. There's a button on the door panel. There's also a button right here. So if you realize that, gosh, we need to let some people in, that's a good way to do it. Nice power door. It 
getting back to the main screen, you get back to your navigation on your one for drive, put your foot on the brake, put it into drive, push it back for, push it up for reverse and press the button on the end for park. Up above you have access to Mercedes for uh, maintenance information. You also have an SOS 911 emergency. You also have a few light options so you can control when the lights come on, reading lights and what have you. This does have the smart stop technology. That's the pre-collision mitigation. You also have blind spot monitors. You have lane guidance and lane detection, uh, lane departure warning. In the mirror there, there's a triangle on the mirror that will let you know that there's somebody in your blind spot. It will blink red when you're driving down the highway. Do you have paddle shifters that you can you can put in a manual mode or uh, the automatic drive mode? Other than that, that's just about it. My name is Nathan Clark. Again, coming to you from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. If you have any questions regarding this vehicle or any other vehicle, please contact me at 719-660-3566. My email address is nathan.clark at transwest.com. Thank you.